So I wanted to make a quick uh, Toyota review video. I don't know if you can see that. See that tire pressure light right there? I don't, I don't know. With that bright sunlight, probably can't see it. Let's uh, let's get the car going. Maybe if I turn the car, I'll angle it away from the sun. Maybe you'll be able to see that. But anyway, so this is the uh, the third time that tire pressure light has come on and I have to drive all the way to Homosasa which is an hour and a half from my house because this is where I bought the car now maybe you can see it let's see yeah right there okay so we're gonna put it in the service department and uh, I'm gonna talk about the Toyota Prius Prime with the, just a quick review here in just a minute so let's get get the car in the shop because this time they can't just send me away see the last time I was here they sent me on my merry journey this is another annoying thing, and I'm, I know all cars do it now. You know, I don't have my seatbelt on because I'm just in the parking lot at the Toyota dealer, and uh, it'll just sit there, bing, bing, bing. But it will shut off after a while, which is good. All right, hold on. So I thought I'd just make a quick uh, Toyota Prius Prime review. Um, I'm back at the Toyota dealer because the, the tire pressure sensor we just talked about that is on again, and this time they said they're going to get to the bottom of it. And that's why, you know, the squeaky wheel gets oiled, people. You just got to keep at it and keep at it and keep at it. But I did tell him, I said, man, I do love the car. I mean, I'll tell you what, that is one sweet driving vehicle. And uh, he said, uh, you know, well, Toyota just cut production. I don't know if you knew, by uh, 40%. And uh, they got no inventory here. <laughs> There's no cars for sale. <laughs> and this is a big Toyota dealer, you know. So it's... Uh, the world is changing people the world is a changing but let's just talk about the things that I've loved about the car um, well the first thing was you know we, we went in to the settings and I was able to make it so that the key just unlocks all the doors because you know you got groceries in your hand and uh, you know you press that key once and it unlocks the driver's side door and press it twice but then if you go down into the settings you could set it so that's the first thing that I really loved is uh, is how I, how you can change the settings on the Prius Prime and we, we I showed you how to do that in a previous video the other thing that was really really nice today because here in Florida man we've got we've got rednecks that do 100 miles an hour in a, in a 45 mile an hour zone and you've got the old people that do 30 miles an hour in a 55 mile an hour zone so but that car has what's called adaptive cruise control and I never really you know in the past I never really appreciated it because I never had it you know you always I when I was varying my speed you know a lot of times I wouldn't even set the cruise control because you know if, you, if somebody's going slow you're gonna ram out right up their back bumper and if uh, you know um, and then if there's nobody in front of you it worked out real well but now I'll tell you it did it did a good job you know and when you change lanes because you get behind somebody doing 45 and a 55 for example and then when you change lanes It'll automatically uh, speed up and it knows that you're no longer behind that car and it keeps a pretty good safe following distance. I actually, because I, I'm an old fart, you know, I wouldn't even mind if it gave me a little more distance. I got it set on the max, you know, but, uh, but it does all right. So that's the first thing and I really, really like. The second thing I never had before is the backup camera. And, uh, you know, I know a lot of you probably have on newer cars, you know, uh, like I said, I always keep my car about 10 years, and the last car was a 2012, and it didn't have a backup camera. I never realized how important or how wonderful it is to have a backup camera because you not only you, when I'm backing into my garage, for example, I can check the check the side view mirrors, you know, to see if I'm, you know, getting too close to anything on either side because my garage is is pretty packed with stuff. You've probably seen other videos of it. But the thing is, you know, I can always check that backup camera and I know exactly how far that I'm going to back the car right up into the, uh, the garage. So that's, uh, that's, that's another thing I'm really loving about the new car. Uh, the third thing that I'm, I'm really digging on this new car is the gas mileage. I got uh, 78 miles to the gallon coming here. And what is shocking to me, you know, it says that you can only go 25 miles on um, one charge of the battery. And uh, I don't think that's right. I think I'm getting more than that because one of the things, you know, because I only drive the car sporadically, 
uh, which you know that'll be changing here shortly but I mean I only drive it you know like maybe sometimes once a week you know or once every three or four days so I don't usually put a full charge on the uh, the battery uh, I just you know what it is is you can open the door and it'll tell you you know it's gonna take 5.5 hours or 5.4 hours to charge it up and then when it gets to be within one or two hours of, of finishing up the charge I usually unplug it because uh, you know I I'm not driving it every day and I'm not using the um, you know you can program it to, t to charge it just before you drive it so I don't really want a full charge on that battery because I'm trying to, to save the battery you know because I'm keeping this car 10 years you know but I mean I'm getting I, I couldn't tell you the exact distance but I'm getting a long ways on that battery and that's why I'm getting such tremendous gas mileage and uh, boy I tell you it, it does let you strike out you know this, this is a good hour and a half from my house this this Toyota dealer and we've been back here now about five or six times <laughs> but I love Homosassa Florida so I don't mind making the drive and it's actually a pretty pretty drive uh, a lot of stoplights though oh man I tell you that's uh that, oh and that's another thing that I'm loving about the Prius Prime because it used to frustrate me here in Florida uh, that one we've got so many stoplights and number two is how long they last because you know with the old car with the Sonata or any gas powered car you know you come up to the stoplight and it's just sitting there but you know idling away burning gas and uh, you know and so a lot of times what I would do I would tear up my starter because with the really long lights I would just cut the car off to save gas and then start it back up again when the light turned green you know well, with the Prime, it automatically shuts off and just goes on to the battery. And uh, the beauty is, is that the air conditioning runs off of the, uh, the battery, so you don't lose your air conditioning. And so you're not burning gas when you're sitting still at a stoplight. Uh, that's another savings of gas. I mean, everything about the Prius Prime is a well-engineered marvel. I mean, even the, uh, the braking, you know, puts energy back into the battery. So. Uh, I just wanted to do a brief uh, Prius Prime, uh, you know, talk here, uh, just what I'm loving about the car, and uh, you guys, uh, peace out, and uh, we'll do the mantra, freedom, oh freedom, and uh, if you, this will be a separate video, but we are going to uh, go for a hike today, so be sure and stay tuned to the channel. I just thought I'd tack this on to the video. They have no inventory here. I didn't, I, you know, I thought that was low, but there's nothing. I mean, he said he got four cars in uh, this month, and that's, uh, they used to get uh, eight times that many in a week. And this is a big, big Toyota dealer. Just the fact that they don't have any cars, uh, that's, uh, that's scary, man. The world is a changing. Let's just look at what they got on the lot here. I mean, uh, let's see what we got. <laughs> So, I mean, look at this. Look at this. Here, let's get the camera upright. There we go. I mean, well, we got a hybrid here. I don't even know what this is. and I don't even see a sticker on it. This might be uh, just a used car. It's a Prius. Oh, okay. So it's just a Prius hybrid. I mean, it look, looks good. If you wanted a car, this would be a good, good purchase, you know, and you got... But here, see, that I don't think these cars are new. There's no sticker on them. These are just used cars. There's nothing here, folks. This is a big, big Toyota dealer. And for them to just, I mean, look at the parking lot. It's empty, man. I, I you know, I, I wonder what it's like in your state. And this is Florida, man. You know, a free state. Uh, you know, nothing. It's uh, it's incredible, people. It's incredible, and I'll put this on to the Prius Prime video. But look, I'm, oh, hit, this car's got a sticker. This is a Highlander, it's, but it's on the dash. I'm not sure that doesn't mean if that means it's new or not. You're, usually they're up in the window. Uh, let's take a look. These do look new. I don't know. 2021. Okay, that's what. It, there's a there's a 2022. Okay, so they do have the stickers on there, but. Uh, man who knew i mean i knew that you know toyota cut production by 40 percent but i did not know it was affecting the dealers so fast i wonder what it's like at like a you know another uh, car manufactured uh lot you know 
people the world's changing and it. it's scary it's scary out here man that's why i just go hiking we're gonna get a trail i just want to show you from from homosasa it's just down the road here it's a, we were there the last time i was here and uh will i be able to hike it i don't know we've had lots of dry weather so i'm hoping the trail will be somewhat dry i got my hiking pants in the car and i got my hiking shoes but i'm not sure that the bug netting's in the car uh so if the flies come out like they have in the past doing trails here in homosasa we may have to call it a day i got some other places that i'm going to visit today that are on the way home where we can just get out and get some exercise and walk around and make a video but uh, anyway just just look at this oh my gosh adding on to the uh prius prime video i was real curious you know me I'm, i always got to find everything out that i can but uh, Went in and I asked them, I said, you know, with the reduction in inventory, with Toyota cutting production by 40% and having no cars on the lot, I said, are you seeing the inflation in the prices? And the guy told me that they, they have not, and I just find that hard to believe. But, you know, I'll take him at his word. He said that uh, Toyota hasn't raised their prices, even though their dealers don't have any cars <laughs> to sell. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, I... I don't know. I don't know how they're making a profit now. I mean, if they, if you don't have any cars to sell, you know, uh, how long are these dealers going to survive like this? I mean, just uh, just asking the curious questions, but I thought you'd want to know. They, at least here in Homosassa, Florida, they say that uh, Toyota has not raised the prices on their vehicles. So who knows? You know, I bet the dealers got to raise their their fees. So whether you, you you burn the candle at, at the at the front or the back i believe that uh, you're gonna pay more for a car now than you would have three months ago when i bought my prius prime that's just my gut feeling peace out so while we're hanging out at the toyota dealer you know when when you do go to get a car taken care of i i like to just walk around you know what's the point of just sitting in the waiting area but uh, i do want to hit you up uh with two things that I've observed while I'm here. What may save these car dealers is the service department. Every one of those bays is full. And I imagine since people are gonna be keeping their cars a lot longer than they used to, I can guarantee that, that may save these dealers because they're gonna be servicing cars quite a bit in the future. So we'll see. Um, boy, but isn't this, doesn't this look nice? I mean, this is a, right up behind the Toyota dealer. I'm gonna walk down here just for the fun of it, see where, where it goes. I don't see any no trespassing signs, so, and they keep it cut, so why not? And uh, But I wanted to also talk about the latest uh, scam that I'm getting quite a bit of. Um, and, you know, we talked about what is your time worth? What is your time worth, you know? That was another thing I wanted to show you driving here. I've still got a full tank of gas, and I just drove an hour and a half with the car. So that'll tell you how much gas I'm burning with that gas sipper, Toyota Prius Prime. Um, so we are continuing that, but the, uh, also the phone. Okay, the latest scam is they call up and they say, uh, due to our numerous times of trying to reach you, you have to call us back within 48 hours or we're going to do this, that, and the other. And it sounds, you know, like it's, it's an evil thing and you gotta call them back. But folks, don't call them back. But what you gotta do, you know, don't just uh, delete it from your recents, okay? What I do is I make a concerted effort. Every time I get, one of those calls from it's from a michigan number you know that's how i know it's a scam you know i haven't lived in michigan in years and uh so i go up to and like i said my carrier is google fi you know if you got patriot mobile or whoever i should i assume they probably got the same service but i go up to the website and i log in to my google fi account and i just start blocking numbers blocking numbers each each and every day if i get a, some junk because i mean i'm on every phone call uh, scam list in the country and now you probably are too and uh, so I just go up and I just start blocking the numbers now I have blocked some important num <laughs> numbers <laughs> but you know what if somebody really wants to get a hold of you they'll find an alternate way you know if they want to send me an email they can send me an email if they want to uh, you know like I've blocked a friend of mine you know because if you don't leave me a message and you just call my phone and, and then hang up I'll block you you know 
because if, if you if you're making a phone call and you, you you don't even consider the phone call worth leaving a message why do I want to listen to you you know why do I want to keep the phone ringing but anyway what all I'm saying is just be sure to keep going up keep going up I mean I have over over a thousand numbers blocked right now at least and uh, the beautiful thing is at least with Google Fi once you block that number it uh, I can't remember the message I'd have to call you know my uh, phone or you know listen to I can't remember what the message is but something like the phone's been disconnected so it makes them think that you don't even have the that phone number anymore uh, and so then they you know I'm hoping that some of these scam lists uh, that my phone numbers on they'll they'll start deleting me out of their databases thinking that you know my phone number has been changed uh, and that they can no longer try to scam me but anyway just wanted to throw that out isn't that cool I tell you if I worked here this is exactly what I would do come out you know during my break and just get a nice little hike in here and uh, kind of nice I mean you know you, this is the thing I like about Florida man everywhere I go there's always something to see that's really unique and beautiful I mean what's I mean let's see what's behind here it looks like it could be a house I don't know but that's it for today's Toyota Prius Prime video I know I got a little long in the tooth, and uh, we'll get a good hike in. That's uh, Fort uh, Fort something road. It's the third stoplight down. I hope that the that the trail's not too overgrown. If it is, I've got a couple other places to go. I, you know, that's a sad thing, you know, about people in general. You know, you you ask them, you say, well, how, you know, what what should I go see here in Homosassa? And they'll tell you, go to the archaeological park. I said, well, I've already been to the archaeological park. I want to go someplace else. Well, I don't know what to tell you. That's uh, uh, and you think you know, I mean, look at me, where I am up in Central Florida. We've we've done it all, man. We've done the um, uh, all kinds of trails all over the place, you know. And I'm still finding stuff, you know. We did the uh, that uh, one. In, oh, I, I know I pronounced it wrong. I call it Dunleaden, but uh, that's probably not how you pronounce the name of the town. Remember, we did that. We found that on the way home. You know, you ask you ask anybody if that, where that trail is or if it even exists and they won't know a damn thing there's, there's no curiosity at all all right that's it let's get this video cut off for there peace out i want to add one more thing and uh this is just a lesson learned uh and you know so you know i came down here once before well we did first the tire pressure sensor went off and then we did a tire pressure video and we checked all the tire pressure and then we got the sensor to cut off that was the first time the second time, I figured I had a problem. I brought it down here to the Toyota dealer. Drive, drove an hour and a half. They put air in the tire and sent me on my merry way. So this is what I'm telling you: the squeaky wheel gets oiled. And uh, so the, the so it came on again the third time. So I could have just put air in the tire and just called it a day and, and gone on my trip. But no, I want to I want to make sure that it's 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 fixed once and for all. And because I had been here before, okay, they're taking it much more serious this time. Car's been in the shop now, oh, a good hour and a half or so. I bet they're running it up on the computer, trying to figure out what's going on. Uh, you know, because those, those tire pressure sensors are just, the valve stem, they're right in the tire, you know. There's one for each tire. So, uh, so that's what I'm saying, see. If I hadn't come back, you know, so soon after the last visit, now I could have been angry, I could have said, you know, you know, pounded my fist on the desk and said, you know, you gotta, you, I, you can't believe it, last time I was here, you didn't fix the problem, and blah, blah, blah. No, no, I just went in and I said, look, man, we got a problem. You know, you guys got to figure this out. I said, this is the second time I've been here, and it's the third time the sensor's gone off. And so, you know, they're taking it serious this time. You see what I'm saying? So if you do have a problem, you know, and you go to a mechanic shop or a dealer or whatever, and they don't fix it the first time, Keep, keep beating on them, man. I know they're, they beat you up, too. I, I know. I didn't want to waste another... And I shouldn't say waste a whole day. I'm hoping we're going to get a hike in somewhere today. You know, so it should be pretty cool. All right, that's it. So, man, I tell you, I'm sorry. I apologize for the length of this video. It's just, you know, I keep... Uh, see, they did find the problem. It was a tiny, tiny hole. In, this is what I was told, anyway. The tiny, tiny hole in the tire. And they had a hard time finding it because they submerged the tire and you know if, 
if you got a big hole, you know, you can see it bubble up. But this thing, he said, he said it finally just went, bloop, a little bubble came up, and that's when they knew that there was a tiny hole in the tire. So that's going to get fixed. But just one last thing to add to the video, you know, I, one of the things I do when I'm at these dealers is I like to go out into the uh, the showroom and look at the look at the cars they got in the showroom. You know, it's uh, not so important now. I won't be buying a car for a very long time, but it's always fun to look at the the latest and greatest. I've never seen this before. They have used cars in the showroom. I mean, the showroom is always where you're, you've got your, your bestest and greatest uh, new cars, you know, on display for people to see in the showroom. They're actually displaying used cars. Just an observation, people. Worlds are changing. Peace out.